What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Kelvin's Garage. Today, we have a very special quick episode for you. We are going to try out the Lucas Engine Oil Stop Leak. Now, for those of you who have been driving around your 8th Gen Civic like me, by now, it probably has over 200,000 miles. Mine personally has 250,000 miles. And what has happened over time is the engine, well, it started to wear and tear, okay? So the seals get old, uh, you know, certain parts of the engine get old, right? Maybe the uh, rings get old, right? So what happens is that the engine will start to leak oil, okay? It'll either burn oil or leak some oil uh, to some degree. And so what we would like to do today, we don't want to go and do some full diagnosis and look for uh, which actual seal is leaking, pull it. Okay, we don't have time for that, all right? You know, if uh, we did have more time, if this were a project car, you know, and we had time, uh, downtime to let it sit for a while and take it apart, we would then properly diagnose uh, the engine leak, the engine oil leak. But since we're short on time, we're going to use this amazing product called Lucas Engine Oil Stop Leak, all right? And the Lucas engine oil stop leak, uh, I like all Lucas products, okay? I'm not paid by Lucas in any way, but I like Lucas products, and we're going to talk about it. This is the Lucas engine oil stop leak, and look, it says it works, all right? Now, the reason why I like the Lucas products is because they are usually 100% petroleum, okay? So you know that they're not going to put anything harmful in the engine, okay? Even if there are some different additives, it's not the predominant ingredient, uh, of the additive okay so this is 100 percent petroleum it works and it contains no harmful solvents okay and made in the good usa good old usa so that's why i like these lucas products let's take a look at the back here all right it says basically that lucas engine oil stop leak is a unique formulation of lucas additives and very specific base stocks designed to stop seal leaks in engines okay which is what we probably have all right contains nothing that could be harmful to an engine and can actually extend the life of the engine oil at least 50% longer, all right? So it goes on to say, a puff of white smoke out of the tailpipe in the morning is a sure sign of a worn valve seals, allowing oil to seep past the valves into the combustion chamber, okay? When the engine is not running, okay, this is a sign of a high mileage engine, like the one we have right now in our 8th Gen Civic. Allow a few days for Lucas engine oil stop leak to correct this problem. All right, to keep this problem corrected, a quart or liter will probably have to be added with each oil change, all right? So for use in gasoline and diesel engines, all right? And let's take a look here at the directions. Okay, use 20% of system capacity. Okay, for example, one quart Lucas engine oil stop leak to four quarts of motor oil, okay? And that's pretty much what we have for the Civic, okay? So leaking engines are usually older engines, okay? And this product is not a leak stopper, not only a leak stopper, but also an excellent additive for worn engines. So probably it contains a lot of the uh, proprietary Lucas, uh, you know, engine oil lubricants inside this, okay? In addition to the fact that it also has stop leak ingredients, all right? So the user can expect less engine noise, higher oil pressure, and less oil consumption as the Lucas additives fill the space between the worn parts. Okay, Lucas engine oil stop leak is also effective at stopping leaks in automatic transmissions, hydrostat transmissions, or hydraulic systems, 10% is usually adequate. We're not doing that, okay? We're just sticking to the engine oil. So so this should be, as they claim, uh, work, work, working very well, okay, once we put it in. So let's check it out. Okay, so basically the application of this is fairly straightforward. It says use 20% of your engine's oil capacity, okay? And so since our Civic is about four cores when we change the oil anyway, all we're going to do is just add this to an oil change, okay? So basically we're just going to perform the oil change like we normally do, adding this first and then adding the our normal uh, Mobile One engine oil on top of that. You just perform an oil change like you normally do. I'm not going to go over that because I covered that in another video, link below, all right? But basically prepare your car for the oil change and right before you fill it up with the fresh oil, remember to put in the entire bottle of the Lucas engine oil stop leak. Okay, but one thing I did want to show you guys is uh, when you jack up your car, take a good look under your engine, okay? So if you take a look under your engine bay, you can see there's a lot of oil residue. Okay, if you look all around here, it's kind of even dripping off of this uh, this mount over here, okay? But if you look around the, the cross member here, okay? And if you look around the, the bottom of the engine near the the oil uh, pan right here, okay? You can see there's a lot of engine oil residue. And like I said, we're not gonna go back up and inspect 
uh, the the actual engine, the seals themselves, okay? We know that there is some kind of a leak here, right? So what we'll do is we are going to wipe this up fairly clean, okay? And then we're gonna do the engine oil change, okay? And then we're going to add the engine oil stop leak. And next time when we come back and do our next oil change, we'll be able to tell if this has, uh, you know, started dripping again and coated the uh, under uh, under a carriage or the the bottom of the engine with this oily residue. Okay, so we'll just we we'll just kind of do a very unscientific uh, you know observational check to see if the Lucas engine oil stop leak actually worked. All right. All right. Take a good look at the oily oily engine leak. Okay, 250k on the engine, but look at that. Okay, it's gonna be dripping all over all over the metal over here. Okay, all over the mount. Okay, and over in this area over here. And that is the extent of our engine oil leak. Okay, so we just finished draining the engine oil and changing out the uh, engine oil filter. Okay, and we also did quite a bit of cleanup down here. You can see I wiped off all the old oil residue as much as I could, okay. And you can see that uh, it's fairly clean right now. Not completely, but fairly clean with all my little oil bits on the cardboard right now. Okay, so now it is time to fill the engine with the Lucas engine oil stop leak and top it off with our regular engine oil. Okay, and if the leak returns, we'll be able to see uh, some dripping here next time we do the oil change. Okay, now we're going to add our Lucas engine oil stop leak, all right? We're gonna use the whole bottle, so all we need to do is just pull this off right here. Pull this off, okay? And you know, these Lucas products, they are always uh, pretty sticky, okay? Pretty sticky, pretty thick, okay? And that's just the consistency of it, all right? So we're just gonna take our bottle and pour it directly into the engine oil. All right, so just pour it in there. Gonna give it a couple squeezes. And when you're ready to do this, you can just flip it upside down and into there, all right? So we'll just flip it upside down and into there and just let it drain into the engine, okay? Into the engine, all right? So give it a couple squeezes and we'll just wait. Okay, the bottle is now pretty much empty, okay? So now we're ready to fill the engine the rest of the way with our normal engine oil. All right, breaking out the Mobile One Extended Performance High Mileage. 5W20, we're gonna top off the engine with about three quarts of this. Glug, glug, glug. Glug, glug, glug. All right, remember to check the dipstick to make sure that you have the right uh, oil level, all right? After you fill it up, top it off with the Mobile One engine oil. All right, checking the dipstick here. Insert it and pull it out. Okay, we have got the engine oil just about at the very, very top here, okay? I would say that's pretty good, okay? We don't need to add any more. And if it's a little bit too much, that's okay too, okay? I wouldn't say that's too harmful, all right? But this is pretty good, so we're done. All right, and that's it. We are done with our oil change, and we're done putting in the Lucas engine oil stop leak. I'll let you know by the time I do the next oil change whether or not that that sticky, crusty, uh, old oil residue returns at the bottom of my vehicle, okay? And we'll be able to find out if the Lucas engine oil stop leak did its job, all right? I'll let you know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Kelvin's Garage.